Hey guys, how's it going? Today I thought it'd be really fun to do the blush tag and actually no one really tagged me to do this. I just saw several people do it and I thought it'd be really fun so I'm just gonna do it. When I really got down to it, it was actually a little bit harder than I expected to pick my favorites in all these different categories, but I did it and I've got all these beautiful blushes sitting in front of me, so let's get started and I'll tell you all about them. The first question is blush with the best packaging. I chose the Urban Decay Afterglow blushes. I love this packaging. I know that some people like like the super expensive, luxurious blushes and that's what they chose, but for me, I love this packaging. I think it's so beautiful. So the reason I think it's so unique is because it's got this nice Urban Decay cutout right here and then it's like mesh actually. So you can see the color of the blush through the window. So it's beautiful. I love this packaging. I want all of these blushes because I think the packaging is just so unique and so pretty. Question number two is prettiest color and I had to choose the Balm's Hot Mama blush. This is such a beautiful color. It's very reminiscent of NARS Orgasm, but I like this one even better because I feel like the shimmer in this blush is a little bit more finely milled and really kind of like melded together with the color of the blush. So this is just like a beautiful peachy pink with a really nice gold shift to it. It is so pretty. If you guys don't have this blush, I think that you need it. Okay, the next question is most pigmented blush, and I chose this Laura Geller Gelato Swirl Blush in the shade Plumberry. This is such a dark color. Look how dark it is. I'm not sure what compelled me to buy this in the first place, but the color is amazing. It would look even better on someone that had dark skin than someone that has fair skin, but it's beautiful. I have to have a really light hand with it, but look at that color. It's crazy. The next question is everyday blush, and this blush I feel like is probably going to be in everyone's blush tag video. This is Milani's Luminoso. <sighs> this is so pretty. I even have a backup of this blush. I know, I have so many blushes, I probably don't need a backup, but I have used so much of this blush, it's so beautiful. It's just a really nice pinky blush with a really nice sheen to it. You can wear it with anything, any day of the week, any eye, any lip, any anything, and it just looks gorgeous. The next question was party blush, and I don't even know what that means, if that means like the blush you would wear like to get glammed up, or I don't know what it means. I'm just gonna skip that question, because. I just, I just don't even know what it means. So, the next question is the blush you regret purchasing. The one I regret is from Tarte. It is this Blushing Bride Cheek Stain. Now, this is a cream blush that you can either dab on your cheeks or you can use like a brush and apply it to your cheeks that way. I really wanted to love this and I was really excited about it. You see that color? It's very, very sheer and even when you start to blend it in, then the color really goes away. So. If you try to build it up on your cheeks, it really tends to disturb the foundation you've already put down. So it's either like you're going to mess up your whole face or you're going to have a very, very subtle blush if you use just that. So that's one that I regret purchasing. Next question is the least used blush and I chose this Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade Cola Pop. I bought this because, I bought this, I sound like a hillbilly or something. Bought it. I bought this because I heard a couple people who are pretty similar to my skin tone say that they love this blush and they just use a really light hand and it looked beautiful. For me, even when I use a light hand, this one is way too crazy pigmented. So I'll do like a normal swatch that I would normally do, see? Whoa. Then I'll do like a lighter one and even if you blend it out, it is still just so, so pigmented. Look how pigmented that is. That's on my cheeks, it's gonna look, it's gonna look insane. So it's just one that I don't reach for. If I had a darker skin tone, then I'm sure it would be beautiful, but for someone with light skin, you might wanna skip Cola Pop. Question number eight is most used and would never let go of. This was probably the hardest question for me because I feel like I have so many blushes that I love, but in the end, I had to pick these two Becca blushes. These are my all-time favorites. The first one, which is probably my most favorite, is Flower Child, which is just like a beautiful peachy pink with a little bit of a sheen to it. It's just so pretty. This is another blush that you could wear every day. Look how gorgeous that is. I can't even get enough of it. And then my other favorite is Damselfly, which is just like a really nice matte peachy blush. <sighs> These Becca blushes are so soft and smooth and beautiful. Oh, I love it. So the top one is Flower Child and the bottom one is Damselfly. So gorgeous. These ones are ones that I will never be without because they're just too good. Question number nine is favorite blush brand. And this was another really hard one because I have so many brands that I feel like are such good quality. But as I was looking in my blush drawers, I realized I had a ton 
a ton of one brand and of course it's Tarte. I feel like these are probably everyone's favorite blushes. They are just outstanding. They last really, really well on your cheeks. One thing about them is I don't feel like they swatch as well as they look on your cheeks. You know what I mean? Like you swatch them and they're kind of like so-so and not all that impressive. But when you wear them on your cheeks, they look so good and they last really, really well. So Tarte blushes are ones that I would definitely recommend to anyone who's looking for a good blush that's going to last a long time on their cheeks. Question number 10 is greatest blush discovery of the last year, and this one I didn't even have to think about. It's definitely the Lorac Buildable Blushes. These are so beautiful. They're very pigmented and creamy. I thought, because they're called Buildable, I thought they were going to be sheer blushes, but they're not sheer. They're very, very pigmented. You can build them up a ton or you can sheer them out, but it doesn't take a lot to get full color on your cheeks with these blushes. This one is in the shade Spectra. Spectra. They're all beautiful. This is one of my favorites, but all of the blushes in the buildable line are to die for. Question 11 is what is the most practical blush? And for that I chose this CoverGirl True Blend blush in the shade Medium Rose. You guys, this is one of my favorite blushes. I really, really am in love with it. It is a really nice light pink that goes on your cheeks so smoothly and so evenly. This is a blush that is going to work so well for people who are experienced with makeup, people who are beginners to makeup. It just is beautiful and easy to work with across the board. So this is definitely the most practical blush. Sticking on those same lines, question number 12 is least practical blush. And for this I chose a Tarte blush, believe it or not. This is in the shade Celebrated and you guys, honestly, I don't know if I got a dud or what, but this blush has no color. If I put this on my skin, you cannot tell where I put the blush. Even if I'm like packing it on and really loading up my face, you can't see it. So I, I don't know. I don't know. And I have light skin. So you'd think it would show up. And like I said, I've heard lots of people say good things about it. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys have celebrated and if it works for you or not, because... It's just not, it's not showing up at all on my skin. Question number 13 is most expensive blush, and I really don't have any like luxury or super expensive blushes in my collection. The most expensive blush that I do have are the Hourglass blushes, and you can see I just have the palette. These are beautiful blushes. They are lighter blushes, so they're gonna give you a really soft flush to your cheeks, and they're not going to be like a really like bam in your face blush. They're just really soft and just give you a little bit of color on your cheeks. Honestly, I don't think that I would repurchase or purchase like a full size of any of the single blushes just because they do just give that subtle amount of blush. And for me personally, I like a little bit more color. I don't like clown cheeks or anything, but just a little bit more color to my cheeks. The very last question in this tag is least expensive blush. And I almost picked the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes and then I realized that probably Everyone is going to pick the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes, and so I decided to go with another blush that is probably just a little bit better, but still very inexpensive. And those are the e.l.f. Mineral Press blushes. These are such beautiful blushes. I absolutely love them, and I feel like nobody ever talks about them. I actually did a review on my channel a long time ago when these very first released about them, and I am a huge fan of these blushes. These are probably the softest and smoothest e.l.f. blushes that I have ever tried. I was really not a fan of the studio blushes from e.l.f., but these ones are so much better. They're soft and pigmented. There are currently only four shades, and so the color range isn't amazing. I think they have one peachy one, two kind of mauvey ones, and then one that's really light. But the texture, the consistency, the way they just glide on your skin, these are amazing for the price. So if you see these in the store or if you're going to make an e.l.f. purchase, grab a couple of these and I promise you, you won't be sorry. So those were all the questions in the blush tag. If you guys have done this video or if you decide to do it, then link yours down below so that I can see what blushes you like the best and all the answers to your questions. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you next time. Bye!